Max, back with Everyday Gear, and today we're looking at Max's most recent purchase, a Spyderco Centafonte. Yes, the Centafonte 3. It's the third time Spyderco and Frank Centafonte did a knife together. And it is pretty nice. You see right there, it says Centafonte. Mm. So, beautiful. Seven and a half inches when it's open. Four and a half inches when it's closed. Blade length is 3.1 inches. And it is nice. VG10 steel. Very, very nice. I do like it. The handle is FRN. So, I mean, G10 would be cool, but FRN's not bad. It's super lightweight. 2.5 ounces. Weighs nothing. No. Yeah, especially coming from that big boy, uh, the Smith & Wesson. Stupid light. And very nice. Came wicked sharp out of the box. I think I'm still missing hair. Ooh, Before yeah. I it out, I'm still, yeah. Yeah, just about the only thing that's screwed up on it so far is the uh, the clip. It's losing some paint, but that's all right. I'll repaint it or something. Yeah, super nice lockback design, and I really like it. It's only for right side carry. Cannot throw it on the left side carry, but on the right side, you can do tip up or tip down. I prefer tip up, but, you know. As you should, that's, so you don't go to the hospital. That's just me. I wanted this knife because I was looking online, and it looks so beautiful. I almost hate using it because it's so <laughs> nice. But, yeah, this is, like, one of my first actually expensive knives. Big I'm, boy knife. Yeah, big boy knife because I got a big boy job. That's right. But uh, I, I'm used to purchasing, like, $20 knives and kicking the hell out of them but uh this it wasn't bad this 50 dollar knife i know spider co makes you know 200 dollar knives and i will never buy them but uh <laughs> it's pretty smooth opening fast opening you know you can throw it down like that it's it you know it's a nice knife people might not like it because it's you can't take it apart but I don't really find a problem with that. I, I've never taken a knife apart before anyway, so I don't know. I really like it. The big spider co hole, super nice. The jimping on the on the back there is very nice and aggressive, and it's a nice thumb ramp. It feels really great in the hand, and with it being light and a decent blade length and being feeling really good in the hand, it's a, it's a really nice knife. You've you've fondle it a couple yeah. times and uh i love this thing man it's he's right it's it's super super light um and that's one of the great things about spider Co's is you can get a, a lot of knife for not a whole lot of weight mm -hmm. um and it's also really thin yes um, not so thin it's uncomfortable because i've had a couple of those too but it's really nice and thin um the frn as usual is amazing I would say I wish for a little more texture, but actually these these grooves in the sides of the handle do help and add some traction. Yeah, they actually um, make it not come out of your hand. Yeah, they do. They, they, the grooves definitely work. He's right about the thumb ramp. He's right on um, about everything about the knife ergonomically is great. It is riveted. You can't take it apart. Not a huge deal, no. to be honest, especially when I'm getting something that's this, this light that still has liners and it still has a lock back. Um, VG10s. Probably my favorite knife steel I've ever owned. Uh, Spider Co's VG10, in my opinion, for the cost, you're never going to beat it. They always come real sharp, and they always stay real sharp. Yes. Um, carries nice in pocket. Really, really deep. Deeper than almost anything I have right Very now. Very deep, and then when I first got it, I put it in there, and I couldn't believe it. It felt like there was nothing yeah, in there. Yeah, you're That's... carrying around nothing, which is great, because it's not a super tiny knife. No. Not, not at all. Um, I don't know. I love them. I love the lockback. <clears throat> I'm just I'm a huge spider co guy and this is this is a great example. I've never had this one and uh, and it's phenomenal. I'd love yes. to have one. Beautiful knife. And Definitely gorgeous, good lines on it too. Looks nice. Nothing bad we could say about it. No. This is Max and Will with the Everyday Gear channel. Everyday gear for, for everyday, everyday people. people.